What is going on everybody? This is MYG Jeffy T85 and I have some late New York Giants news that broke this afternoon. A couple of stories surrounding the New York Giants. First off, I'm going to start with a signing that the New York Giants have made to their practice squad today. And lo and behold, it's somebody that was actually on the team last year. And that, of course, is the 6'2", 245-pound Jalen Smith, who was drafted out of the second round for the Cowboys back in 2017. He's played stints with the Cowboys from 2017 to about 2021. 2020, he was signed over by the Green Bay Packers originally, then it was cut, and then the Giants signed him about late last season. And in about four games played, Jalen Smith for the New York Giants, he had 19 total tackles, one tackle for loss. He also had a pressure and a quarterback hit, as well as one sack for the Giants during that time. And the Giants now are bringing Jalen Smith because of the fact they need some more depth on the inside linebacker position. The Giants now have brought back a guy like Jalen Smith to come in there and to provide at least more depth for that inside linebacker position. So I'm very happy about the signing of Jalen Smith back to the New York Giants roster. So that's a big thing right now to add. Obviously, Austin Calitro, Tay Crowder, Carter Coughlin, Michael McFadden, they're doing the best they can out there. They're doing an admirable job. But you add a guy like the 27-year-old, 6'2", 245-pound, Jalen Smith to the practice squad and a guy that the Giants could easily call up if they deal with some injuries to the middle linebacker position or if any of these guys struggle, you have a guy like Jalen Smith that you could just plug into that defense and let him go away and see what he could do out there for Wink Martindale and that defensive schemes going forward. Now the other type of breaking the other type of news I want to spill with you guys is the injury status of Leonard Williams. And I want to call out and give a shout out to my guy, Almighty Finesse, a very loyal New York Giants fan. He's the one that broke the news originally, so I'm gonna make sure I give him a shout out that he deserves. Leonard Williams right now is dealing with a sprained MCL, and right now the coaches consider him that he's not gonna be missing as much time as he was uh as was, as was originally feared. He has a brace on his knee, so he has a similar injury right now to the one that Kayvon Thibodeau suffered during the preseason game against the Cincinnati Bengals. So right now, Leonard Williams has a brace on his knee. He has a sprained MCL. It's going to be about a two to six week injury, so it's really going to depend on how fast Leonard Williams is going to be able to come back from that injury. Don't think he's going to play against the Dallas Cowboys on Monday. Might miss like another game or two. Hopefully he comes back sometime in early or in early October. Maybe he comes back sooner, but with a sprained MCL, you really just don't want to rush him back when you still got 15 games left in the season. So I would not be surprised if Leonard Williams misses at least the first couple of like the next two to three weeks of the season, and maybe he comes back around week six or so, like week five, week six or so that time frame that I expect to come back maybe around the London trip when they take on the Green Bay Packers so that's just my injury update the, that's just my updates I want to give you guys concerning the New York Giants as today they or yesterday they signed Jalen Smith 6'2 245 pound inside linebacker who was part of the team last year he had 19 total tackles one tackle for loss as well as one quarterback hit and a sack last year for the New York Giants in four games. He's back with the Giants on the practice squad, so much needed depth. As well as the injury update on Leonard Williams, the defensive tackle for the New York Giants. He is dealing right now with a sprained MCL, and he is considered right now day-to-day, -day, more likely week to, week to week, and would not be surprised if he has about a two to five, two to six week time frame in terms of his injury going forward. So that's good news. Could have been a lot worse. Could have been a season-ending injury. But at least as far as the testing is going, it seems like his ACL is intact, LCL and PCL are intact, and he's just dealing with the sprained MCL. So that's good news in terms of what could have been for Leonard Williams. So if you guys like this video, please hit the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't already to NYG Jeffy T85 for more breaking news, injury and roster updates, as well as chatter surrounding the New York Giants. Turn on the bell for notifications on the next video or short that's going to drop surrounding the New York Giants. And let me know in the comment section what you think about the latest injury news surrounding Leonard Williams, as well as the addition of Jalen Smith to the New York Giants practice squad. I hope everybody has a fantastic Monday night slash Tuesday morning. Take it easy and let's go New York football Giants. The 2-0 New York Giants preparing for Dallas. 
this coming Monday as the Giants right now share that NFC East lead with the Philadelphia Eagles when the Eagles won their game last night against the Minnesota Vikings 24-7. So the Giants are tied for that divisional lead. But let's just see if the Giants are going to be able to go out there and make it 3-0 against the Dallas Cowboys on Monday Night Football next week. So have a great rest of your Monday night slash Tuesday morning. Take it easy and let's go New York Football Giants. Together Blue, everyone.